Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you hear some noise in the background, I think there's like construction happening. I don't exactly know, um, but I'm going to do my skincare. I already got dressed for the day. I am kind of wearing my usual, I don't know if I can get my leg this high, but I have my set active uh, black leggings on. I have my Nike quarter socks at the, at the very bottom. Um, and then this sweater is from Save the Duck. And that's pretty much it. I'll try to be better about showing what I'm putting on my skin. I hope you can see that. But this is the January Labs Restorative Tonic Mist. This is the Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid. This is actually my favorite product of Rode. Try to do these steps a little bit quickly because I want to keep my skin kind of like damp. But this is the Shade Brightening Serum. I think this is like a vitamin C serum. And it says that you have to shake it before you're using it. So that's why I shook it. And even though it's vitamin C, it smells like coffee. Okay. And then I put on some medicated cream. Because I've talked about this so many times lately. But I am dealing with some stuff when it comes to my skin just all sorts of breakouts and I have given up trying to figure it out on my own I finally as you all know started seeing a professional dermatologist and we tried to pinpoint what exactly the issue was because it could either be hormonal or bacterial acne and so we started with like solutions to both my skin got super super clear and then we took myself off the, which one was it? The bacterial medication. And then everything came right back. It was just as bad, if not worse, than what it was before I started taking the medication. And so now I'm back on the bacterial medication in addition to the hormonal. This one is the hormonal one. The bacterial one is like an oral medication. So we'll see. I've been using the oral medication for a few days again now that I have been off of it for like a month. And I know I put it on really thick there, but it does it does absorb. <laughs> I like to put it on thick just to make sure that I'm really, really, you know, covering my bases there. If you're wondering what this is, uh, it's actually like a towel rod, as you can see. Um, we don't have like a towel rack that's close to the shower. Like, this is the door, and there's a towel rack behind that, but it's very far from the actual shower. So we installed this cool rod. It's very industrial. It's super cool, and it kind of, like, swings around. So you can tuck it to the wall when you're not using it, or you can swing it all the way over to the shower, and you can grab your towel when you're in the shower. It's, it's super cool. Very unique. Absolutely obsessed. Anyway, <laughs> next up comes just a moisturizer I also like this one because it's very basic and as you can see I'm putting so much stuff on my face that this layer doesn't necessarily for me need to be that intense I wonder what they're doing outside and then the final thing or almost final thing SPF so if you've been watching my if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that this is pretty consistent. I have been doing pretty much the same thing for many months now, and I'm trying my best not to experiment because with the medication and speaking to a dermatologist, I want to make sure that like I'm not testing the limits of my skin with trying new things, especially because I spoke to my dermatologist. I gave her like a full list of everything that I use, every single thing. And she was like, just keep using what you're using. Like, the things that I'm using are great. So, why change it, right? This is coffee scented. Love that in the morning. And then the last thing, as you all know, just the e.l.f. What is it? Wow brow? Wow brow. But I have to do this in front of the mirror. I cannot see. Just grabbed my Google Pixel watch from Charging. If you're here for the tech and you're interested, I, um have to put this to charge while I brush my teeth and get ready in the morning. And then I also 
do that same process when I like get ready for the end of the day, like shower and stuff like that. Uh, and when I brush my teeth and left it to charge, we're at 56%. So the battery is not, it's not it, but whatever. And then we have my glasses. So now I can officially see that my hair looks like a nightmare. Okay, that should be fine for now. Let's go get some breakfast. Okay, this week's breakfast rotation is not pretty, but it is absolutely delicious. It's something that I came up with randomly and it's been working for me. So basically I just have some bread here. I put this in the freezer so that it can last a really long time. Riley is also hungry. Uh, but this is the whole wheat Catskill uh, organic bread from Bread Alone. Bread Alone is a really, really great brand. Um, and then I have this really ugly looking thing. This is basically like a sheet pan egg patty. So I use just egg and I put some seasonings in there. I throw it into a, a big bowl and then I put in a bunch of like frozen spinach. However, for it to get this like green color, I blitz the frozen spinach in my food processor for a little bit so that it gets really, really small. Not like powder, but like just before that. So it's easier to mix into the just egg mixture. So I mix all of that together in a big bowl. I put it on a greased or lined uh, sheet pan, and then I bake it in the oven for like 20, 25 minutes at 425 degrees. And it turns into these egg patties and they're really ugly. <laughs> they honestly are like the most ugliest looking thing, but they are so delicious. They're like really nice and savory. I really like them. And then all I have to do is, oh my gosh, why is it so hard? I just put this in the microwave for a minute and I have meat and egg patty and I'm going to make like a little sandwich here. Don't worry, while my food is heating up, I feed them. By the way, I'm just putting a little bit of this on my toast. Um, speaking of pets, I know some people have been asking about my rabbit. I show her every once in a while. Um, but I did the math the other day and she's actually nine years old this year and she's a lion head rabbit so she's pretty old for a rabbit um but yeah i've had her for nine years it's wild i had her since she was a little baby bunny okay like i said it is not a pretty looking sandwich or a pretty looking breakfast period but it tastes really good trust me All right, friends, I have my journal out. I'm going to quickly um, just like fill in my habit tracker that I have and then go through my to-do list for today and see what we have going on. So uh, let's see. When I fill in my habit tracker, it's for the day before. So I am just going to fill in my morning routine. I try to make sure that I always do my morning routine and then body movement. I mostly get that through my walking pad um then workbooks which is basically like all of these workbooks that i have in my notion for like work related things i just want to make sure that i'm actually using the workbooks that i spent so much time creating so i have that in my habit tracker i also have tiktok and that just means like posting on tiktok i try to post twice a day so i have been doing pretty good on that these days and then the last thing is to not order takeout which i have been having such a serious problem with strangely in the middle of the day because I never used to order food for myself in the middle of the day I would only order food if it was for Ian and I but lately I've been like ordering lunch once a week and I've been really like beating myself up about it I'm sure it's not that bad but yeah there's that um, and I can actually fill in the morning routine for today out already because I've done my morning routine as you've seen uh, so let's see what's going on today. I use a highlighter, by the way, to highlight things that I am currently working on. And then when I finish them, I use a regular black pen to just scratch it off. That's just like a little bit of bullet journaling type 
stuff that I do. I'm also, again, I'm pretty sure I talked about this in my last vlog, working on my ebook. It's taking me a really, really long time. So I'm trying to like really crack down this week and do a bit of it every single day. Um, then I'm going to be working on my podcast, which we've done so much work on it lately. It's kind of unreal. So I don't know what was my last thing that I updated you on, but basically we are doing the podcast and by we, I mean my husband and I, Ian. Um, I was initially going to just do it by myself, but then I really, really didn't want to do that because I know how much work goes into a really good podcast and I didn't feel like I could have the capacity to do it on my own. So I brought Ian in. So now we're doing it together and we got through all of like the basic tech stuff and setting everything up already. And we have about three months now until launch. So now we're just gonna be recording for the next 10 weeks. I'm so excited. We also signed a contract with a musician so that we can get a jingle going. Everything is moving along there and I'm so, so happy about it. And then the last thing is to finish up this YouTube video and edit it and get it ready for you to watch it, which you're doing right now. So that's pretty much it. As you can see, I'm pretty consistent with my routine these days. I've been doing really, really well with keeping consistent with that. And I do think that my bullet journal is a huge help in that, but also keeping to kind of a strict um, timeline in the morning, especially because during the weekdays, realistically speaking, I have to log into work at a specific time. So having specific time frames where I get things done really helps me stay on track with things, even if they're not necessarily like deadline type things, they're like personal development type things. And I really, really stand by doing that. If you are also someone that has like a nine to five, or if you have a job that you need to kind of like work around in order to have your slow living practices and stuff. So yeah, I am going to grab my laptop and start this day. And because this day is getting started, this is going to be the end of my morning vlog. I hope you enjoyed this little morning with me. Again, it's pretty consistent with what I usually do during the weekday in terms of like my morning routine and trying to implement slow living practices throughout it before I get started with my work day. But I hope you liked it. I hope it is realistic enough for perhaps uh, inspiration so that you can give it a try as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in next week's video.